Hey, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter World Iceborne. And today, today I want to talk about the Light Bogon, because you know what? After seeing the gameplay from the reveal stream the other day, Light Bogon might just become God Tier in Iceborne, alright? Now, I appreciate a bit of a bold statement, but hear me out for a minute, because, yo, one of the new additional mods is going to change the game. If you guys are familiar with Light Bogon, then I'm sure you're pretty much aware that, yes, it's viable in world. Yes, you can get some great results out of it. But at the same time, if you compare it to the overarching range of weapons, it kind of gets the short straw a lot of the time. Back when it launched, obviously everyone loved it because it was all about slicing and just spamming the hell out of that. And then when it got a nerf, it kind of became a little bit more tricky to make light bow gun work for you. Some weapons you can literally just throw them on with any build you like and you can get some decent results. Whereas light bow gun, you had to be a little bit more specific. And then when it came to things like the shot choices, there was, you know, there were a few select decent guns, but outside of that, there was quite a limitation on the kind of shots you wanted, some of those kind of like higher tier ones. And I guess they're kind of the ones they may well be saving for master rank because otherwise maybe the gun becomes too powerful. But the most important thing, if you guys didn't catch it, they mentioned during the gameplay reveal, was that the Light Bogon will get new custom mods. Now, I might be reading into this, but they did say mods plural, they didn't just say a new custom mod. And while they've only spoken about one of them, we potentially got a look at a second one in the trailer. Now, of course, the main one they focused on was the reload mod, which essentially allows you to slide and reload. Now, that in itself is part of the reason this is going to be a complete game changer, because the Light Bogon slide, not only is it stylish, it's also incredibly useful, but if you can then factor in reload on top, this suddenly becomes so much more versatile. Now, if you guys have played Generations Ultimate, you might remember that if memory serves me correctly, I'm pretty sure it was Adept style that allowed you to dodge, evade, and then go into a power reload for like Bogon. So there's kind of some sort of parallels that you can draw from that. And maybe this is me letting my mind sort of run away a little bit, but I'm kind of getting those sort of Vanquish vibes or like even Astral Chain, if you guys have seen that new trailer, like the ability to essentially run around the battlefield, sliding, reloading, shooting, and just being all kinds of crazy, that's the feeling I'm getting with this. Because when you factor in that you also have instant access to your slinger, I'll admit, I don't actually know how that's going to work with the bow guns, because we've seen that with things like the great sword and the sword and shield in the trailer. Haven't quite seen it with the bow gun, but they did say that you can do that with all weapons, so I'm really keen to see maybe how that'll work. I mean, imagine. Let me just paint the picture for you right now. Imagine for a second, you're sitting there, you're fighting the monster, you're sliding around, you're reloading while sliding, you're shooting again, and then suddenly you switch to your slinger, you grapple to them, there's probably some kind of move you can do for the light bow gun, which will allow you to then do something fancy, up close and personal, you jump away, you continue sliding, you're just gonna be a little kind of mobile gunning ninja, and yo, that sounds cool to me. But of course, going back for a second, for those of you guys that missed the details, the way they spoke about it was that It'll be a new custom mod, much like the mods you have on the gun right now. So of course, at the moment, you can choose from things like recoil suppressor, reload assist, deviation suppressor, close range attack, range attack, that kind of thing, right? So they'll obviously expand this list, and they said that it's going to work functionally in a similar way to other mods, in that right now, you can stack multiple mods depending on the rarity of your bow gun, and they said that if you stack multiple of these reload mods, then you can reload more than just one bullet. So by default, it is just one bullet, and assuming that say you can just stack it three times and it may be just increased by one each time then maybe you're not going to get a completely full clip reload each time but maybe they're going to be super generous and maybe it's like when you stack three you get like the full magazine because if you can commit to that i feel like i feel like that needs to happen right if you're going to commit to it and you're going to throw away something like close range up or recoil suppressor or reload assist anything like that then i feel like it needs to be a pretty big benefit okay so that if you can do that, if we can start running around the battlefield, sliding and reloading infinitely, I might just switch to Bowgun. Because if you guys know me, you know I've been with the series for quite some time, but I've never really been a gunner. Like, I'll always take my time to learn how to use the weapons, but I've just always been a blade master. Like, it's just the thing that I like, whether it be Monster Hunter, whether it be other MMOs, any game where you have weapons, I'm always the close range guy. I want to be up in the monster's face and that hasn't really changed. But if I can slide around like the main character out of Vanquish with the light bow gun, maybe we might have to do some shuffling in Iceborne. However, on top of that, we did see one additional rather interesting thing in that light bow gun clip. There is a small green laser sight on top of the bow gun. And this 
This is new, and I'm pretty sure this isn't just an aesthetic thing for that particular bowgun. That looks remarkably like another mod. Now, if you guys haven't played previous Monster Hunter games in previous ones, you could always go into effectively like a first person camera for the bowguns. Admittedly, they played a little bit differently, so it made more sense in the previous games, whereas World was a lot more run and gun, so the first person thing would have just felt a little bit odd. However, I do wonder what that sight may be. It might just be like a visual upgrade for, you know, something else to increase range or increase something else like that. However, if they do go down the route and allow you to put back like first person camera on the bowguns, I'd be really interested to see just how that plays out. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think maybe that sight may be. But either way, we have potentially seen two custom mods, two new custom mods in action thus far. But I'm very excited to see how Light Bowgun plays out. I do hope that when they do start kind of pushing into Master Rank, it does get some better rapid fire options for some of the higher tier Bowguns. I kind of feel like it's almost a given because as they become more powerful, it just sort of makes sense. But either way, I do hope it becomes a powerhouse because Light Bowgun is a very cool weapon. There's a lot of potential with it. And honestly, I can't wait to see how many other custom mods there are and also how that then applies to Heavy Bowgun. So yeah, watch this space. Lots of exciting stuff. We're not too far away from E3, so I can't wait to get more information. But for the time being, that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also, don't forget, you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.